Right, everyone, welcome to the group once again tonight and for the, all the new members that are part of the gathering of spirit. As I always ask, please have an open mind and an open heart because spirit link with your vibrations and your inner spirit. The more authentic and open you are with your question and trusting, the more you can receive a stronger answer. If things go against your reason, then reason is a very important divine gift and that's where you can reject if you don't feel things but always question everything and always be open-minded and i'll invite charlotte to do the opening prayer there you go charlotte just unmuted you thank you thank you to all our guides angels spirit of our loved ones and animals that are all around us Thank you for being with us and keeping us safe and guiding us with your messages when we need you. Please come closer and give us advice in our meditation tonight and allow our questions to be answered. Thank you. Amen. I wish to thank you, sister, for your beautiful prayer. A prayer that as you listen to the words, the vibration was that of serenity, peace within the energies, love within the energies. Many people will ask, why is it that a prayer I cannot say? No man should ever say they cannot pray. As a prayer comes from within, from within, from within their soul, from their inner spirit, your words were beautiful. You continue to look at the way of the vibrations that come to you within your prayer. You will find that your guide will come stronger towards you. You will feel their presence ever stronger. You will sense them through the feelings within you. So much comes from the simplest of words, a humble prayer. You see it. My brother, my sisters, I pray to the Father and I pray to the elders because my duties from the time of the body awakening and the eyes opening, the first duty I have once that of the sun has risen, I have to cleanse the body, prepare myself to go to do my duty. I sit at a table, a small table, and I eat what I call the breakfast. It is something that is very simple, but it is something that is given freely from our Father God. We sit with that of a bowl of oats. We add of that of the milk from the cow. I sit, I eat, I thank, I pray. Then once that duty is done, I am then ready to go into the temple. And as I go into the temple, I lay myself upon the ground with my arms stretched wide. And I turn to end on my knees. And I thank the Father God, not only for my body wakening and my eyes opening, I thank for the food that is given, and my prayer comes from within. Then it is time for me to do my duties. My duties of that of the God, 
nurturing of the fruit and that of the vegetables that grow, that helps to help all within the temple, to eat of that of the freeness that God has given. Then comes the afternoon, I go to that again of the temple to pray. My duty of the afternoon is from two till four, two hours of prayer to our Father God, to the elders. They speak to me loud and clear as though I am talking to my brothers and sisters within that of the temple itself. But then my evening is for me to be at peace with myself, to read of the scripts and the scrolls and the tapestries, for me to gain great knowledge. This is what comes to each and every one who walks with their life if they are prepared to say a humble prayer, and as the fact of the Father God gives them strength, gives them insight, and calls to the elders, and asks of the elders to give them strength, the healing, the wisdom, to give and share with others within life. You are just upon your journey, these are very steps that you take in trying to gain the knowledge. But you know, my friends, words mean nothing if you are not prepared to put the effort into it, to find it, to feel it, to see it, and touch it. It does not come with that of the way. You have to face the challenges that will come when you will be tested, you will be questioned, you will doubt. But once you find the truth within yourself, spirit will not let you down. They will come as they come to me. And they help me to realize that my journey within the life of man and the journey within the life of spirit, there is so much to learn. And as long as I can and I am able to do so, I will continue to do the journey, journey forward. Now, my friends, I am going to allow to speak to Safena, who has been waiting to come to each and every one of you. God bless you. Hello, my friend. It is lovely to see you once again. Always when it comes to the time of what you call your questions and answers, I am waiting patiently to speak to you and also to give the answers to the questions that you ask. Many will say, what is the truth that I am supposed to feel, that I am supposed to know, that I am supposed to gain? You must feel within yourself that the questions that you are asking is going to help you to progress, to understand and understand the truth within and the truth of spirit. Now I am here to answer the questions when you are ready. God bless you. Thank you. Good evening, sister. Hello, my brother. It is lovely again to see that smile and to hear the voice. You. May I ask your permission to allow others to ask of their questions to you, sister? Yes, my brother, and I do thank you sincerely, because you see there are many 
within the material life, when they ask a questions of spirit, they do not ask for permission. They just accept and think that is it. But respect for spirit means that we have respect for man. And because we have respect for man, we will always do our best to help you understand. Bless you, sister. Absolutely, I do. God bless you. So I'd like to go straight to you, Sharla, and uh, allow you to ask your questions to Sister Savannah. Hello. Thank Hello, you, Kyle. Dear. Thank you, Kyle. Hello. All right. Uh, my first question, if I may, um, what sort of Reiki shamanic healer will I be in the future? And will I have my own business? My dear, I will tell you straight out, I will not answer that question because I am not here to predict your future. You must remember, my dear, when it comes to you to do up the healing within life, you must put all the efforts in that you can to help others within life. At the same time, you know as a material being that things can change very, very quickly. You must learn, first of all, to make sure that you know your direction. And when you know your direction, you aim towards your goals. We only look at the healing of spirit, we do not go into that of the healing of the Reiki that man has brought forward, because that is man-made. So we say to you, sister, we do not wish to offend, but you will understand that the answer that has been given has been given from spirit and not by man. You understand, my dear? I understand. Yes, thank you. You see, my dear, let me explain to you. Many men within life, they will try to say, you can go in this direction, that direction. But if it is not the right direction that you are meant to go, it will bring many complications towards you, you understand. So you have to go by your feelings, by your instincts, by your inner spirit, and work in the direction that your feelings are taking you. You can achieve, you will achieve, only if you put everything into the trust of spirit, you understand? I do, yes, thank you. A pleasure. Thank you. Um, and my second question is, um, would you be able to tell me um, my main guide and what is or her name is? No. No? <laughs> Let me tell you, my dear. Yes, I can. No, I won't. Because at this moment of time, you do not know whom your guide is. You do not know whether it is male or female, of what breed it comes from, of what direction it has been. Until you have earned the right to be given a spiritual name of your guide, you have to prove, you have to prove that you are worthy to announce their name before others, you understand? Yes, I do. Yeah. My dear, please, you have asked two questions. Two questions I have not been able to answer, not because I did not want to, because you see, I speak up true. And many within life think, that when it comes to asking for the name of a guide, another spirit guide can give it to them. Yes, we can, but you have to earn the right. 
You have to learn to trust your guide. You have to learn to feel their presence. And you have to learn to understand they are as private as you. And when the time is right, they will announce themselves to you. They will show a mission towards you and you will know whom they are. You understand? Yes, I understand. Thank you. God bless you, my dear. Thank you. God bless you too. You're welcome, my dear. Right, the second person on the list is lovely Kathy. I'm just going to unmute you, Kathy. Here you go. Thank you. Hello. Hello, uh, my dear. I've only got one question. Um, I'm quite new to this, uh, just restarting my spiritual journey. How do I know that I'm actually on the right path? There's so much out there. And my, I'm... Please forgive. Continue, my dear. So I feel like I'm getting tugged one way, but then I think I'm getting tugged another way. How do I know? My dear, very, very simple. Learn to listen to your instincts, your gut feelings. God gave ladies within life a gift freely. It is called the woman's intuition which a woman very rarely used to. They hear, they feel, they sense, but they don't act accordingly, so they push it to one side. And when things go wrong, they wish they'd listen to me in a voice, you understand? So my dear, listen to me and listen carefully. You are just taking the first steps on the journey to understanding of spiritualism, of connecting with spirit. You must first of all find yourself. And when you find yourself, you have to find yourself truly deep within. And you have to go into your meditation and go into that of a deepness so that you can open the chakras, mind, voice, heart, tummy, solar plex, base. Once you have learned to open up within yourself and you are comfortable with the guide that is guiding you, you will open up to the entities and the energies. And once you open up, you will feel great spirit come. You will feel their presence. You will hear the whispers of the voice. You will sense male, female, child. This is what you are to do, my dear. So you see, first of all, find yourself. The call upon your guide and ask them to guide you forward. Because you see, let me explain. A guide is a guide that will guide you, but a helper is a helper that will help you understand. Yes, thank you. Has that answered your question for you, my dear? It has, thank you. You are welcome. Sure. Right, uh, the next person on the list is Kate. I'm just going to mute you, Kate. Speak to Sister Safena. Good evening, Sister Safena. Hello, my dear. Lovely to hear the voice once again. I hope that you are comfortable and you are feeling well. Yes, I am, thank you. Thank Let you. My um, journey in spirit, my dear, I am always well and comfortable because I am well taken care of by that of the elders. I am one that gains great knowledge day by day, and I love to come to share with each and every one of you. You understand? I do, and that's so nice of you to say so and to come and help us. Um, one of my que my only question is really about exceptional people 
that come to her like as a very, very good artist or a poet or a politician who make a great deal of difference to the earth with their lives. Are they sent here by the source? Has God sent them to help us show the way a little? My child, when you look towards that that you call a politician, there are good and bad in all, just as the same with them within life. God will send those within life to help others. You see, you have to look around you, my dear. You see man that will walk and will help many, but as for nothing can return. You have what you call your nurses, your doctors, your surgeons. They all come with a gift to help others within life. So you see, no one is exactly so special. It is the gift that God has given to them to help, to feel, to care, to love, to help, to share. There is so much. So when you look at politicians, those that have been sent by the Father God will do their best to help men. And many do. But then you get the few. And they are the few that will come with a darkness, a vision of darkness called power and greed and do not care for others where life is concerned. Their journey once they go into the realms of spirit is for that of repent, repent. They have to repent to the Father God and to pay to that of the homage to the elders and ask them to forgive their sins, you understand? Yes, I do. I do. You see, my child, you have grown within life. You do not look at yourself as someone that is special. Yet you are. Because you see, you have helped many, many within life. You give them strength. You give them guidance, you give them healing, but you have also helped them along their spiritual journey. That is special within itself because you have not kept it to yourself. You have been willing to share and help others in the name of the Father God and of that of the elders you understand. Yes, I do. Yeah. What is your other question, my dear? I, I don't have one, thank you. I may oh, have my... one later. Oh dear, you have not been drinking of the wine, otherwise you would have many questions. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you, thank you, Sabine. Right, the next person on the list is now Alison. I'm just going to mute you, Alison. There you go. Thank you, Kyle. Good evening, Sister Savannah. Hello, my dear. Lovely to hear your voice. Thank you. Um, I read something a couple of days ago that didn't sit right. As you say, if it doesn't sit right with you, put it to one side. You know, it might be that your knowledge is not up to that speed yet. And, you know, you go back to it and see if it sits again. But um, what, what I want to ask you is, Rescue circles, are the souls lost? Is there a point to rescue circles? And if, if so, then <laughs> is, it, is it a point to rescue circles first, please? Let me explain to you, my dear. Those that are lost between life and of spirit, you do not need a circle to bring them back into the fold. You see, we are in spirit. We have the duty of taking those within the material that have not yet gone forward into the spiritual 
they are not lost, they are confused. And they need a little bit of guidance. And with the guidance, we lead them forward. I will ask a question of you with the answer at the same time. How can man do a rescue circle when they do not know how to rescue? You see, my dear, man will say, I go into the depth and I bring those out of the depth and I take them into the light. This is false. Only few and very, very few within life have the power to do the rescue work. And those are the ones that have been chosen. And we choose the ones that have the power to do so. So when you say, I want to have or be in a group that will do that, of taking care of lost souls. They are not lost. They are guided into the spirit, but they are confused. You understand? I do. That's what my guide said to me, because uh, what I wrote, read, um, did not sit well. So thank you for that. For I, am, I am very pleased in what you have just said. You said that your guide told you that it is not right, and mm -hmm. you felt within yourself that it was not right. It did not sit comfortable. That is because your inner spirit was telling you, you were sensing, you were feeling, and you must always discard that of the nonsense that man will say. We have heard so much over the period of the centuries of how man has the power to do this, has the power to do that. Well, if they have the power, why haven't they done it? You understand? Oh, definitely. Thank you. God bless you, my dear. Um, my second question is, <laughs> Can you give me some advice on my spiritual path, please? My dear, let me first of all say to you, you are coming to the period of time that you call the season of goodwill. This is the time for you to rest and reflect upon your spiritual gift. Within the period of time, call upon your guide, call upon your helpers, asking them to come stronger towards you, to make you understand what it is that they want you to do. The more you ask of your guide and your helpers, the closer they will come. Come. And as they come close towards you, you will find them taking control over you. You may say at one point, I don't want to go that road. It isn't the one I want. Yet spirit will give you guidance and they will guide you in the direction. And this is what must be done within the period of time of goodwill, because the goodwill is towards you to find peace and joy within yourself, to take the problems of your past, to open up to the newness of your future. You will go further forward. You will gain great knowledge. Temptation will be placed before you, and you have falseness shown towards you. Be prepared. Be prepared and make sure that when you go along the journey with spirit, you are not drawn in to that of the foolishness of others. You understand. 
Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Sven. God bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Right, the next person on the list is lovely Pauline. I'm still muting you now, Pauline. There you go. Hello. 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 Oh, dear, you managed to come into the group, and I'm very pleased to see you here, to hear your voice and to see the beautiful smile. I do hope, however, that you have written the letter for me with the explanation why you're late. <laughs> well, it's computer problems, I'm afraid, sorry. That is the next use, my dear. God bless you. I wait for your question. <laughs> yes. Um, I've changed one of my questions because following on from what Alison said and what how you've answered regarding those that are sort of um, confused as they pass how does free will come into it if some of them are stubborn and and don't want to move on let me explain to you my dear you as a living being with the spirit within has free will yes to do whatever where life is concerned just because the body is no more does not mean to say that the spirit within does not still have that free will when a spirit goes forward many will be grateful to go forward into the light but there are those up to you that are confused they are afraid to go forward they don't know what is ahead of them. And because they do not know what is ahead of them, they start to fight. They start to become agitated. And what we in spirit have to do is to draw close to them, to first of all, bring them a calm. And at the same time, we express to them through words that they have the free will. No one in spirit has to do what they do not want to do. And whilst we explain to them that their loved ones are waiting and we bring forward their loved ones for them to see, many will go towards but you must remember also, my dear, there are many in the realms of spirit that will not want to visit their loved ones that they left behind. So therefore, a spirit that is confused, we have to reassure them and help them to understand it is their free will if they wish to go forward into the light of spirit or if they wish to stay within that of the confusion but we leave them with an opening to say to them when you're ready we are here and will come towards you understand yes i do uh, i do believe i've sort of had an experience and touched on something that in that way um uh you know because i did have someone around me that didn't want to go uh, and like um i've also had a lot of light come out of the corner of my bedroom and i felt then that because i could see a negative um shape if you like you know sort of moving around and all this light was coming out of the bedroom window uh, not the bedroom the corner of the bedroom and i did feel it did frighten me a little bit i i regret it now you know i wish i hadn't have sort of felt that fear but it it did at the time because 
there was so much of it coming out of the wall, you know. Um, and and then it's it's like this negative sort of uh, entity went through with the light, you know. And I I feel that that sort of that was an incident. Right here. I have just listened very carefully to the words you have spoken. Yeah. You said you had an experience of one that was taking the transition and did not want to go forward. Yeah. There are many within life because they do not understand of eternal life in spirit because yeah. they are afraid. They are afraid to let themselves go. It is a case of once they have found the truth with them, they go with grace. And what you did, my dear, you was very kind to help them. You gave them the guidance to go forward. You helped them to understand that loved ones would be waiting for them. You spoke of the energy that you saw within the corner of the room. That was the energy of spirit. That was the energy of loved ones that was waiting to take them. But you see, my dear, you did God's bidding. You helped the spirit to leave of the body to go forward. Because you see, many within life, before their transition, the brain is confused, you understand. Yes, yes. I thank you for the deed that you did, my dear, and I'm sure that you will help many others where life is concerned. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. Thank you very much. And I'll leave it there, Carl. I'll ask for some more later if someone else wants to ask. Right. Thank you. Um, right, I'm next on the, oh God, the double click thing just took me off the screen um if anyone would like to lift their hands up now if they do have any more questions i'm next on the list but all right that's pauline and charlotte so right sister may i ask two questions you may my brother um the first question is about um uh, more of a lucid kind of dream i had a few nights ago so I loved it's like I woke up from where I was resting in the room, but then there was a loved one in spirit at the door. But when I went to him, it I like they started talking and then I asked for a hug, and then it's just like short response of like yes in a robotic way. But then I like gave the hug, but then they continued talking. I have no clue what was said, to be honest, but it was a very strong pulling. But it felt like it was um, pre-recorded. It didn't feel like it was the actual loved one, but actually a message from the loved one. And whatever was the person in the dream was just a replica of the loved one, just repeating what the loved one would want to tell me. Is that true? or because Brother, you have just answered your own question. You see, my brother, your eyes was open to see of the loved one that was in spirit standing at your door. Within your senses and your feelings, you wanted to go and give to them a hug. They gave you permission. Then everything else started to come by your senses. You were sensing. Then it came to the period that they started to speak and you could not hear the voice. This is because you had let yourself down and not gone too strong towards them with your energies. A dream is but a dream. But a dream has many answers within and many questions within. You see, the beautiful lady that came towards you, 
she wanted to hug you as you wanted to hug her. The words that she was speaking, you were feeling within yourself, but because you were questioning of your feelings, it brought the doubt within, you understand? Yes, I absolutely understand. Um, See, my brother, let me please say these words to you. I do not wish to be rude when interrupting you, but I feel that it needs to be said. Because, brother, your spiritual journey is going well. You are progressing very well. But then material life jumps in and then it brings confusion towards you. And then it's a case of should I, shan't I, do I, don't I? Let me explain to your brother, we are connected with you. And if you wish to close the door on spirit, it cannot be done because the connection is too strong and you must continue your journey. We and spirit will always give you guidance. We will always give you strength and we will always give you healing. And I feel the beautiful lady that came within the dream was to tell you, don't give up, don't give in. Persevere in all aspects within the spiritual and the material, you understand? Yes, and I can take everything you've said. I've always said out loud that I'm bound to spirit. And you can't, once, the, once you've connected to them and you've attuned, you can't that close the door right ever. Because even if you spend three years away from spirit, <laughs> you always get pulled back in. My brother, let me explain something to you. If you was to say you were stepping mm. aside from spirit for seven years, you may step away from spirit, but spirit will never step away from you. The connection is there. Mm. And when the time is right, we open that door to the connection and we continue the journey, you understand? Yes, um, this actually would be best for a second question, I believe. Um, I'm trying to find different ways to tackle my confidence issues with uh, shutting my brain off when delivering spiritual guidance to strangers and stuff. I'm not really one for making eye contact and all that detail due to the ailments in my brain, but I find that lately I've made eye contact with someone and it's actually helped me bring more intuitive answers out through making that eye contact. What would you guide um, to be more tuned I in to people to I'm trying to brother. link with? I am Kitochi. I understand what you are saying. You see, brother, remember we know your body inside out. We know every particle of your body, the brain, the cells within, the eyes that have the vision. You see, my brother, to find confidence within yourself is first of all, to trust yourself, trust yourself in what you are seeing, what you are feeling, what you are sensing and what is being given. Then when you look at man within life and you look into the eyes, always remember the eyes are the window of the soul within and you with the gift that God has given will see greatness with them. And you just need to, first of all, trust yourself. The confidence will grow and we in spirit will help you 
to find that confidence because we wish, we wish for you to progress even stronger than you are at present, my brother. Bless you, sister, and thank you for the two answers with the guidance tonight. You are welcome, my brother. Thank you. Um, the next person on the list is once more Pauline. Just going to unmute you, Pauline. Question I'd like to ask. Um, is the astral area used as a transitional place for to pass through before reaching the the plane where you're of existence? No, no my um, dear. Right. Okay. Let, let me explain to you. I understand why you are speaking in this manner. You feel as though that when the spirit leaves up the physical body. It floats through the energies of the earth and the universe before it gets into that of the spirit realms. No, it does not. I will explain to you. You see, my dear, when a transition is to take place, we open the portal for that of your guide to take your hand and lead you through to what you call the tunnel. It is not a tunnel as such. It is an energy that you are being pulled through. And once you reach the other side, the portal will close. And as it closes, you are in the realms of spirit. I will come back to the question that one asked not so long ago about those that do not enter into the portal and go to spirit, that they get lost. No one gets lost, as I have said, but confusion is with them. So their spirit does not go into that of the portal, into the realms of spirit. This is why we have to stay. We, as their guides, have to stay with them to help them to find the way forward and find the strength within yourself with reassurance to go forward. You understand? Yes, I do. But the astral, well, my understanding, the astral area is different to the actual spiritual realm. My dear. Let me tell you something here. You mm. said of your understanding. Mm. Have you traveled through that of the astral journey? No. Mm. Because you see, my dear, this is man's way of speaking and saying there is this, there is that. Yet if you listen to a man that has nearly taken that of their life's journey into spirit, what you call near-death experience, they will talk of the light, they will talk of the tunnel, they do not talk of anything other, you understand? Yes, yes. Is there anything else you wish um, to ask of me, my so If I can just... Um... So, I, I don't sort of feel that the astral area is the same as, as the spiritual realm. I sort of feel as though it is, it's like a passing through. Uh, do, would that be the tunnel then? That is, that is exactly it, my dear, the portal. The portal of energy. You see, man will put a word, and a word that sounds very, very good. It sounds as though it's something that is the religion. But yeah. you see, my dear, remember these as I give towards you. Where man is concerned, 
words are but words and words can be made to say things that are not true and words can also mislead with all the goodwill of good intention the path of life is built with good intentions that leads you nowhere you understand yes yes i do yeah now my dear go by your feelings go by your feelings but remember that when you leave up the physical body the portal will be opened up for you for you to walk through into the light and the energy so you can be greeted with your loved ones you understand yes that'd be nice thank you not yet though. <laughs> You are not going anywhere for <laughs> quite some time. We only uh, have the best caring spirit. <laughs> God bless you, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the other question that I was going to ask. Um, our um, The chakras, the energy centres, do spirit use those as portals to get closer to us yes in one respect i say this with one respect my dear yes. you see the chakras man places their words to give to make things simple for man to understand they talk of the third eye the third eye is the brain your heart is what beats your voice is what speaks and your soul reflects is the energy within the body that is one that can open up so that that of the energies through mind, voice, heart can go through the soul reflex to the face. And once it does, the energies from your spirit within will break out. And as it breaks out, the energies then start to feel, start to sense, start to see, start to hear. And once this is done, it is an energy up through what you call a portal. Because you see that from that of the mind of the third day down to the face, once it leaves, it is an energy that connects with your inner spirit and the spirit's in spirit. And that is an energy that you also can call a portal. You understand? Yes, I do. Yes, yes. No, well, thank I hope, you. I hope that has helped you, my dear. Because yes. you see, I love to hear the words of men that have the simple simplest of questions to ask where the simplest of answers can be given you see man will exaggerate and make things sound difficult and hard yet to connect with spirit in a true spiritual way by opening the here by opening the chakras means all you have to do is to be at peace with my body and spirit, you understand? Yes, I do, yes. God bless you, my dear. Bless you, thank you very much. <clears throat> yeah, so the next person now is Charlotte. Who's going to unmute you, Charlotte? Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, sister. Hello, um, my dear. It's it's more of a, a confusion, to be honest. Um, once I was just talking to my sister on the phone, minding my own business, and I heard this voice. And from the start to the finish of what it, he was saying, it was this person that I was thinking it was. Um, the voice was the same. The way he spoke was the same. Um, and he just was, hello, hello, I'm here. And 
I just wondered why haven't I been able to hear that again when I have dreams, sometimes scary dreams. One of these dreams, it was like he picked me up, threw me over his shoulder, ran with me, and tied me to a lamppost of all things. And everyone that I looked at at one point looked like this person. Is it just my imagination? Am I just um, imagining these things? No, my dear. Let me explain something to you. You will be surprised how many times spirits have come from the realms of spirit when man is speaking on that machine you call the phone. And as they come, they bring an energy, an energy to project their voice so you can hear the sound of their voice. You feel their presence. You are too busy listening to a voice, feeling the presence, that you do not hear the words they are saying. You said, why has it not been another time for spirit to come and do the same? Spirit come when they are ready, not when man wants them to. You said you had dreams. Dreams, my dear, I will tell you. You have heard the word. God works in mysterious ways, and the Peter and the wonders he does perform. If you look at your dream, you say you was being thrown over the shoulders. Ask yourself, was you thrown over the shoulders in play, or was it with anger? Or was it a case of spirit was trying to take me over the other side? You must always ask yourself the question because, my dear, we in spirit, we will work in many ways to help men, and we do come through dream state. Sometimes we will show a vision, sometimes we will come with that of words of interpretation for you to find the words that are given from spirit, you understand. There are times when we come also through symbolics. Many man does not understand the symbolics of dreams. Yet if they ask of spirit, spirit will give them the answer, you understand. I understand, yes. My dear. Please, I have to say these words toward you. It is important. When you are walking the path of what you call the spiritualism, wanting to understand about the truth of spirit, eternal life, and your loved ones, we in spirit do not always give to you what you want on a silver platter. We like to get you to work. We like to get you to find the answers within what you feel is right with you. Because you see, my dear, you as a material being, you look around you, you search for many answers, you go into many churches, you go into many groups. Everyone will give you a different answer one way or another, and you have to feel what is right within yourself. And as you accept it, that is what spirit are helping you to do. Find the truth within. You understand? I understand. Yes. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Right. The final question of tonight is 
Cafe. I'm just going to um, unmute you now, Cafe. Thank you. Uh, hello again. Hello, my dear. Um, this is, well, this is a little bit of a question. So I said before that I've just recently restarted this spiritual journey that I'm on again now. Um, I've been having lots of experiences, um, signs. Um, I was speaking to my guide the other day and I asked for, I'm one of these people that need solid proof. I need to see something and something specific. I asked for a rainbow. Um, I did just see a rainbow on this question uh, before I asked the question, sorry. So that gave me the inspiration to ask for another rainbow. Well, I asked for three, I asked three questions. I saw re four rainbows in about five minutes. Um, another, another thing I, I saw the other day, I was stood in my kitchen and I could see something. And I, I swear, uh, I can't call it anything other than energy because it was crystal clear, but yeah, I could see movement, slow movement. But if I looked at it head on, I couldn't see it. So is it, was it in my mind? Let me explain to you, my dear. I am very pleased with the question you have just asked. You say that you have knowledge of spirit and you are hoping to find answers from that of the experiences that are being brought towards you. The words I loved most of all that came from your lips was unless I see it, feel it, touch it, it does not exist. You must always be the doubting Thomas. And when you are the doubting Thomas, the doubting Thomas finds the truth. You said you saw a rainbow and you asked the spirit to show you more so that you knew they was with you and around you. This spirit can bring because you see a rainbow is just an energy, an energy that floats within that of the grounds of life into that of the universe and beyond. It is all an energy. The sun reflects from within to bring the bright colors. You then said you saw a whiteness and you saw something moving within. But when you looked at it directly, you could not see anything. That is proof to us in spirit that you were see and spirit because no man will see spirit through the material eye. They see it through the sensitive, the white of the eye. And when spirit comes to man, they do not stand directly before them. They stand at the side and the white of the eyes the acts of the energies of the white of the eyes are seeing the spirit that is brought before you. You understand? Yes, I do. Thank you. My dear, I thank you for your question. You see, I come into the group with permission from the elders. And from that of the vessel that I use, and with permission of the young man that runs the group. And it is always an honor and a privilege to come forward and to hear the words that come from man and woman within the group that ask of the questions. And yet, as they ask, of the questions say one thing none of you have ever done. You have not felt the energy of spirit as you ask, you understand. Yeah. 
God bless you. Thank you. Right, that's everyone now for tonight. Um, may I ask for you to give your closing philosophy, sister? My brother, I thank you once again for inviting me in to speak unto that of man. It is always a pleasure to do so. You see, each and every one is searching for answers. And man must always search for the answers, but they must feel the truth within themselves. You see, many times, we in spirit, we come very close. And sometimes we are never seen. Sometimes we are very hardly heard. And sometimes we are very rarely sent. Yet we are around each and every one of you within life. This is why when you come forward into the group and you ask the questions, repeatedly I say, you must feel, you must feel, you must sense, you must go into your deepness to open up. And once this takes place, once you are open, they can never be closed. Sometimes, my friends, spirit will come too strong. Sometimes you will become a nerve, sometimes afraid. But you must never think that spirit will come and harm you when you put your trust into your doorkeeper, to your powerhouse, and to your guide. We have seen so much over the centuries that man has done. Many times we have laughed at them. Many times we have been angry with them. And they, because they see the anger come before them, say that we are a dark entity. We're not a dark entity, we are frustrated because we are trying to help each and every one to understand truth. But man with free will will only accept what he wants to accept and discard other things brought, you understand. So my words to you this evening, as I have spoken, very short, but very brief, but very powerful in the sense of, as you go along your journey's way till we meet again, learn to sense, learn to feel, Learn to listen to the voice of spirit as they come to you. Not always do you hear the voice of spirit through that of the air. We speak through you, through the thought waves as well. God bless you all and thank you once again. Thank <laughs> you.